What y'all say, Patriots? Jessica, shut your mouth and bake us a pie. What y'all like, apple? What kind of pie you like? Butter, pecan, peanut, pecan. What, what kind of pie you like? You like cheesecake? <laughs> we ain't going to New York, though. <laughs> what y'all like? Uh, what's that other one called? Uh, key lime pie. Uh, what's the other pie it's called? Uh, uh, sweet potato. What kind of pie y'all like, man? That apple pie. Oh, that peach cobbler pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love y'all, man. I hope everybody's doing well, man. That you got through, that you're getting through the week, man. It's almost, it's almost to the weekend. Happy Friday, y'all. God bless all you beautiful people, man. Remember to spread the love. You never know what somebody is going through, and this is why I'm here. To give you guys amazing content, laughs, smiles, good energy. That's what we need, man. That's what we need in these crazy, corrupt times, evil times that we're living in, man. I love you guys. But I couldn't wait to see what Doug had to say. Um, and on uh, Miss Tarlop, Jessica. You know, I just couldn't I couldn't wait for the, to get into this video. Just 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 shut your mouth. And you you go sit on the view. You go sit on the view with those slags. You go sit on the view with those slags. And you run your mouth on there. Trying to take up for Joe. And Joe's falling asleep and stuttering through the, through, during the interview. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's thinking about ice cream, falling asleep, got slob coming out his mouth. And you're trying to back this man up. It's unbelievable what's going on, y'all. But hey, this is where all the sexy, kind, loving, genuine, beautiful patriots around the world, different skin colors, we don't see color, different hairstyles, different sizes, different weights, everything. A lot of beautiful people reside on this channel, y'all. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, man. We bring you guys updates every single day, and we also have fun while we're at it. You know what I'm saying? This isn't just a... Bye. You know, this is a channel where we love each other, man. You know, we get to have a good laugh. We get to have a healthy conversation in the comments. People get to be real, be themselves over here, you know? That's one thing we promote on this channel, man. I love you guys. And again, I hope everybody has a chance this weekend to enjoy themselves, spend time with their loved ones, relax, breathe. Hell, people are tired, man. They're working two to three jobs. People are, are going through it, man. We have a lot of veterans on the channel. People that have made the ultimate sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all, man. I hope y'all are smiling right now. Because I, I really do love y'all. My brothers and sisters, man. But hey, let's check out what Doug has to say. He named it The Five Goes Nuts. Jessica Tarlov watches Party Destroy Itself. Let's check it out. Link it to be in the description box down below. Y'all make sure y'all go show Doug some love. And again, if you haven't already, drop a like on the video, baby. Let's go and crank it. Yes, welcome. Anytime the five has Jessica Tarlov on and they're bringing up the life issue this time, it's going to be just everybody goes nuts, but especially just yeah, the life issue. Jessica Tarlov, even if she tries to defend Joe Biden, your party's in complete free fall collapse. And that's why we're happy right here in exile. Remember, never let them take your smile. Even when our side makes a mistake, even when their side pretends like they're winning, come hang with me, come fly with me, come watch this video. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a good time, man. In exile, baby. We're going to have a good time, man. And I want y'all to know, man, we're winning right now, y'all. And we encourage everybody to go out and vote. 2024 is our year, baby. And we're going to keep cranking that thing. As long as we get in that old truck and she turns over and crank. I just put a brand new alternator in her. Shout out to Enrique, the neighborhood uh, mechanic. You know, he installed it for $20. $20. It took him 30 minutes. Put that new alternator in. She cranked right on up. <laughs> Shit, I ran out of gas. <laughs> Somebody bring me a gas tank. I done ran out of gas in the damn driveway. 
You know, Jessica, in the green room, you said <laughs> that if Trump wins, it could be the end of all time and space. And what's worse, it will hurt women and minorities more. I did say that. Yes, you gut filled just puts her own words right back in her face. But she said that if the world blew up, it would somehow hurt minorities more. Uh, I'd like to hear her unpack that because that shows how deep the DEI has rotted her brain. It's extreme pregnancy fog, I guess, as I near the end of the line. She says it's her extreme pregnancy fog. Democrats always blame everything on the baby. Hmm. Democrats punish the baby, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Um, that was a very rich discussion. I'm going to try to address as many of the points as I possibly Just can. Just one. <laughs> commercial break in about 30 seconds. No, 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 no. Commercial break is when I am done with this. So <laughs> Running the commercial break, which Democrats also do. She goes, you can't conduct business, you capitalist. You will stop your commercial break by any means necessary. The government will decide when it's time to break. When I say it's time, she said. The threat to democracy. And I want y'all to know, we if you missed yesterday's video, y'all already know. We reacted to this whole video, got to break it down and everything. We've got to break down this whole segment. So again, the reason why we check out Doug in Exile, because he has amazing points. Amazing, you know, he does the way he structure his videos and his points are you know what I'm saying? And we also get a good laugh, so. <laughs> get her off the show. Get her off the show. We're, we're, we'll, Whoopi say, Whoopi, we'll love, uh, Whoopi and Sonny said, and Joy said, oh, Jessica, come on over here. Yeah. Girly. Yeah, girly, you don't even have to um, submit your resume. We don't even want to interview you. And matter of fact, you come on in, we have free refreshments. You know, we have a, a bar. You know, you just come on in and we just tell the audience what to do. And, um, you know, we have we and we just talk about whatever. And uh, we'll talk about your your um, your hate for your hate for Trump. And um, yeah, come on over here, girl. Yeah, we love you. We love you, Jessica. And Whoopi says she's going to give you a, even a bigger pay raise. Yeah. <laughs> Percy point is not working. And all of the good pollsters have made that point very clear to the Biden administration. The threat to democracy thing. Remember the Democrats? She's like, that whole thing that we tried running up, the whole Trump is an insurrectionist threat to democracy thing. It's not working. The polls are showing it's not working. So message is getting back to the Biden administration. Quit using it. Quit saying democracy is on the ballot because it doesn't work. Saying Trump is a threat to democracy. It doesn't work. The people are seeing through your BS, but can Jessica Tarloff stay on topic and follow those rules for just a few seconds? No, she can't. Oh, she but actually, the messaging that works is about the mundane stuff that people want to hear about lowering prescription drug prices. Hearing from a Democrat that they want to lower prescription drug prices is a bigger, bigger problem to most people than what? A hemorrhaging border, southern border. And things like the debt and the deficit and preserving Medicare and Social Security, those are all encompassed in the economy, right? Like how you're doing and how your family's going to survive looking ahead to the future. So that point is definitely out there. And how is your family going to survive the future? You probably got to move to a conservative state is what most people are thinking in response to Biden. To say that Joe Biden is the threat to democracy, considering what Donald Trump and his band of lawyers tried to pull off in 2020 is complete insanity she said the democrats have to get off this topic of of trump is a threat to our democracy and then she goes right into trump and his lawyers tried to overturn an election he's a threat to our democracy Make see me a pass. this is going to work all the way to the election it's going to be great guys I mean, he dispatched lawyers all over the country to overturn a free and fair election. A lot of them have pled out to doing this. A lot of them are still to face trial. And he's doing his darndest to make sure that he doesn't have to show up in any of these courtrooms because he's definitely afraid of what's going to happen there. And now she's in space. Does Trump look afraid to you? He's having the time of his life. He loved getting the mugshot. He wants to go to jail. He's teasing challenging Juan Mershon, trying to get him to throw him in jail. And see, if, if, if we go to jail, if we go broke, we still gonna vote for him. <laughs> there was some of the best, I have some of the best comments on my channel. 
some of the best people around the world, man. I love you guys, man. I love how we can, you know, not be just so, uh, so, uh, like we get to actually, you know, breathe and actually just be humans, you know. We actually get to throw a little, little, a little laugh in there, a little joke, you know. Cause it's it's sick, it's disgusting what's going on, you know. And we all see it. It's we see it every day. It hits the headlines every day, you know. But I do have amazing comments. I have a lot of beautiful, sexy family members on the channel, man. My patriots on this channel, I tell y'all, y'all are the best, man. Y'all give me a good laugh. And then we also have a little bit of hate comments as well, too, you know. But it's okay, though. We live to fight another day, man. We live to fight another day. As many of these January 6th. He's not participant. afraid of anything. Oh, big man, not afraid, whatever. I know him. Okay, not. I'm sure you... His polls go up, Jessica. It's not about him trying to be a big man. It's he's yeah. a politician. He knows how to win. Knows how to win. He wants to be in these lawsuits because I don't know if he'd have won without him. And you lower your voice talking to Judge Janine like uh, raising your voice. You lower your tone, ma'am. You lower your tone. She's on, she's on there screaming now. You look... You lower your tone now. But I'm going to tell you again before I get mad. Again. Might as well just go sit on the view. We don't watch the view, so just go sit up on there. That's most on the right agree. He may not have had a chance without these lawsuits. You do know him, and I don't know him, but I don't think that that man who doesn't want to even sleep in a hotel bed wants to go to jail. He does want to go to jail because he knows this is a temporary setback that he must go through that will secure his presidency. It's actually Trump is so driven and so crazy to become president that he, that he would easily, he would love to go to jail if it means it secures his presidency. That's something that Jessica Tarloff and the left doesn't understand. And I'm so glad he said that, y'all. Y'all don't know how happy that makes me feel hearing those words come out of Doug's mouth, man. Y'all must not understand, man. Mr. Trump is a warrior, y'all. You know, I've been studying that fella for quite a long time now. And thanks to you guys and my my uh, haters on my other channel. Like I say, when I started uploading this kind of content on my other channel, I got bashed. People were unsubscribing. People were, were sending me threats in my email. All kind of stuff. You know, and that channel's going to hit 200,000 subscribers in maybe the next month or so. It's crazy, you know. And we do music and, you know, we celebrate birthdays, uh, loss of loved ones, anniversaries, music requests, sport highlights. We do all that on my other channel, you know. I show the exact same amount of love on this channel, on that channel as well. Uh, that's why I say a lot of y'all know me from OK Rick. So I love y'all, man. But boy, I'm so glad he said that, man. So glad he said that. Ah. They don't know how driven these uh, someone like Trump can be. They don't know how ambitious he is. Yes, he'd easily go to jail. It'd be nothing. Don't refute what happened. We know about Sidney Powell. We know about John Eastman, who just got disbarred. Rudy Giuliani, who's obviously not in very good position. How the mighty have fallen. How the mighty have fallen because you politically attacked them. Again, they become part of Trump's case, making his case that political opponents of the Democrat Party are going to jail, getting their business canceled, getting disbarred. They're in trouble. She thinks this is a huge Democrat win. My, how the mighty have fallen. No, my, how the Democrats have politicized our legal system. Only in, in uh, Democrat cities, by the way, not in Republican areas. So it's not justice. This is politics. People are seeing it, Jessica. We see you. But the point of this interview and doing it with Univision was about Latino support, right? Biden going to the Mexican audience of Latinos. He went on Univision to try and shore up his base. But he was still a slobbering, mumbling guy, even though they gave Kim all of the questions they were going to ask so he could memorize answers and put them on a teleprompter. Prompter. He still couldn't handle Univision. He's going, I got to get these those I dang Mex. Told you, it was slob coming all down right there. I said, what the hell going on? Didn't know what the fellow was talking about. <laughs> Y'all think I'd just be on here cracking jokes, but I'm for real, man. This is, 
what we see, what we're witnessing, man, it, it, it is actually pretty sad, man. It really is. Mexicans back on my voter ballot. What do I have to do? How dare they? Listen, if you vote for Trump, you ain't brown. And making sure that he shores that up. And he's down. He was up 29 points with Latinos the first year in office. And that edge is down to nine points. He's 20 points down with the Hispanics. <laughs> what did Biden do? What's Biden's number one thing that he's known for? Opening the border up. You know who's going to suffer Why the most don't... of the criminal Hispanics coming up over the border? It's going to be our Hispanic communities. I don't have to deal with uh, gangs, with gang members, with the tats all over them, going around and, and committing crimes, living invisibly in a second class situation where they have their own underground economy. I don't have to deal that. American Hispanics do so biden it's your fault you're down 20 points you're not going to repair that with the hispanics by going on univision and calling trump some kind of a racist and that's due to the issues of inflation and crime he's doing better on them but he's obviously got ground to make up ground to make up he doesn't have any ground even to stand on and it's interesting <laughs> that this came out yesterday and we had the ruling taking us back to 1864 in Arizona about abortion because Latino votes in, in Nevada and Arizona are what are going to be really crucial there. Trump came out uh, saying that abortion, instead of being a national ban or him being pro-life, he says he's for sending it back to the states, which means he doesn't have to change anything because he already did that. That's what Roe v. Wade does. It removes the national right to abortion and saying the states allow it. So Trump Hunted on abortion. So did Carrie Lake. Came right up behind him after calling it murder last year. She now goes, punt. I think it's incredibly immoral, but it's incredibly smart politically. 57% of Hispanics say abortion should be legal in all or most cases. And Donald Trump is out there defending his stance of you leave it to the states. He did say today, I won't support a federal abortion ban. It is so communist and anti-American. I know there's a lot of people on my right going, Doug, federal rights is a state's issue. It is not. Whether if you can own a black man is not a state's rights issue. Whether if you can harvest and perform human experimentation on a baby is not up to a, a, a state to vote on. Don't get me started. There's nothing more totalitarian than giving the states the rights to decide when human life begins and ends. Sorry, you can't do it. Period. It's like saying we gave the states the rights to decide if we should have a border or not. We gave the states the rights to vote on if you should be allowed to have a Second Amendment right. It's like you'd go, no, of course not. What are you doing? Those are foundational. He has said before that he supports a 15 or 16 week ban. So, so Trump says he supports a 50 week, 15, 16 week ban. I think that's ignorant, just absolutely ignorant. He really undermined his evangelical Christian base to the strongest part of his base, but he might think he can get away with it. I think he can still get away with it. Here's where it, it works politically. So putting that aside, here's pragmatism working for you. It may very well be that Trump just wants to take the issue away from Democrats. As you can see, Jessica Tarloff brought it up here thinking she's going to get this big sick win. And Trump just goes, look, I dealt with the abortion thing. I'm now pro-abortion and uh, about as much as you. I say let the states uh, decide. And he, tr and he thinks it's going to take it away. So does Carrie Lake. I don't know if it'll work. I'll tell you one thing. If he and Kerry Lake don't win this fall, this is why. Because they gave up on life and undermined their own base. And I'm still voting for him, even though he totally stabbed the pro-lifers in the back. I, I'm fine with voting for him. You know what I mean? Trump could come out against the Second Amendment and say, I'm a total gun robber. I'd still vote for him. He can say, I believe in a totally open border. Because he's he might accidentally get some things right. Biden will never accidentally get some things right. Biden will only 100% get 100% of the topics that I care about wrong. I don't know if he's going to be consistent with that, but the Democrats are going to make that a centerpiece of this conversation, as they should. Yeah, yeah as they should. Good strategy. Trump just now took abortion away from them, and now she's going, they're going to make it a center point. By the way, the reason why the Democrats have to make abortion the center point of their strategy is really good news because it's an admission that their economic platform, the people didn't buy it. All of them saying like jobs are up, the economy is good, Biden's winning, winning, winning. They're going, it didn't work. So all they've got left now is the life issue. That's the only thing they can make stick against Trump is go, he is somehow too pro-life 
and we are for abortion, abortion up to the ninth month, up to in fact, in fact, up to the ninth year, we're for abortion. Okay, and Trump's going to go. I took the issue away from you, so pound sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Joe did not look good there. No, he looked bad. I'm looked glad that's bad. what you took from what I said. After all that talking she did, he goes, Joe Biden didn't look good there. Replay it. Because that's exactly what all of America is going to do. We're going to sit here and argue over life, pro-life, big tax, little tax. What did Trump say about Israel? Da, da, da. And meanwhile, the American people look at Joe Biden and go, Joe Biden didn't look very good there, did he? He looked really like he's almost dead. And there's no argument that goes against that. <laughs> what that man say? Damn, look like he's 100 years old. <laughs> Oh, man, y'all drop a like on the video, man. Drop a like. Let me know how y'all feel again. I know people don't even like watching the five because Jessica on there yapping. On there yapping, 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 rapping, rapping, you know. But y'all comment down below how you feel. And I'm, again, I'm wishing you all an amazing uh, weekend. Happy Friday. God bless all you beautiful people around the world, my brothers and sisters. And again, man, spread that love. Be kind. Care for one another. A smile, a kind gesture goes a long way. God bless all you beautiful people, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.